everybody, Big Blue here, coming at you with a review of Trijicon HD Night Sights. And yes, Safety Sallies, the gun's unloaded. Ammo's right there. And there's nothing in the chamber. Look, see? Oh, no loaded chamber indicator exposed. So just get off that boat. Or drown. Rear sight. It's a ledged rear sight shelf for easy manipulation on or off a belt, clothing, boots, and or holster, what have you, for one-handed manipulations. Rear sight has two tritium vials encased in sapphire jewel housings to protect them against shock, cleaning solvents, and what else, whatever else you can think of. The checkering on the back, lines, checkering is 40 lines per inch to prevent glare. The front sight is a blade sight with a tritium vial in the center. Surrounding that tritium vial is green photoilluminescent paint. Photoilluminescent paint, folks, when charged with a flashlight, such as my P2X Fury or an X300, a surefire, will glow for up to seven minutes, according to the packaging. The orange will glow up to four minutes. Okay, why did I choose green over orange? Everything else I own is orange. My red dots are orange. Okay, basically that's what I'm gonna get to. My red dots are orange. This, I wanted something a little different that I could look at and go, oh yeah, that stands out. And believe me, it does. The green is the easiest to find because people are more attracted to the orange for whatever reason. Um, I, on the other hand, my eye easier picks up the green easier than the orange. So, I qualified with these sights on this weapon. This is a newer weapon to me. Um, this is my new carry gun now. I was carrying a Glock 22, but I decided to go back to 9mm. So, I am now carrying a Glock 19 and 9mm. This has a 15-round magazine in the weapon when I'm carrying it. These are work-issued Winchester Ranger T-Series 147 hollow points. But in my on my belt, I carry two Glock 17 17-round magazines the additional two rounds per magazine. I'm not going to walk around like a goof with a magazine sticking out of my gun. Just ignore these. I forgot to take them out of the video. Now, the first thing everybody noticed that was at the range when I started shooting was, wow, that's a big green orb on the front of your gun. It looks like the sun's staring at you. Right. I was able to acquire the front sight of this weapon much faster than my original night sights that I had on my 22, which were 2002 produced Meprolite True Dots. They have now since, when I checked a month ago, died completely, so it's time to replace those. These were produced in May 2016, and I believe it's a 10-year life on the tritium vials so to get 14 years out of meprolites was not bad folks and at the time they had a 12 year shelf life now they're at a 10 so they've kind of come down in their years to meet the standards of everyone else in the 10 year market very well produced sites the only thing I did not like about them this rear notch the rear of the the rear sight, the back of the rear sight, is extremely sharp. You will cut yourself on it if you're not careful. So I took a small file and kind of softened the edge a little bit to help reduce that. And now they're not near as sharp. Now I was, like I said earlier, I was much faster acquiring the front sight of this weapon than I was my others. And I have to work on acquiring... My, my distance shots were not as accurate because I'm not used to shooting a round notch 
square front. I'm used to squaring the square and pulling the trigger. Okay. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but it won't take long, folks. Highly recommend them. They are on the little more expensive side. Um, I believe I got these on eBay for $122 with free shipping. But I've seen them as high as $170 and as low as $119. The orange are harder to find. The green are easier to find. And you can get them for all models of Glocks, including the 42 and 43. All right, as always, vest up, be safe, and watch your six.